in not the best shape. She's taking her time and picking her way through the trails here. But yeah, when we get stuck, if we get stuck, I'll give you a little clip. We're back here, just checking out what we made for catches. And we'll walk in and and see. It's drained quite a bit more here since the last time. But our first set was over here. And it looks like we got a beaver floating. So that was the set here where I kind of fence them off on the side. And then kind of made the opening here and got caught. The lure. Fair size beaver. Nice uh, neck catch. Actually, a nice big adult. Perfect catch. Let's uh, carry on this way and see if we've got any more. There's only three sets here. Found the run. So on my caster mound, Looks like they came to check it out. My trap is sprung. My drowning cable here. So it might have been that I wasn't off to the side a little bit. Or enough, sorry. And the other trap is over here. And it's sprung as well. And we got a, a younger beaver here. So I'm gonna go check the... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna set these ones again. Cause that not a lot of beaver sign other than like one or two. Uh, and then I'll let the company open up the culvert. Actually I'll see if I can free it here today. Get it draining through the culvert at least and lower it and then they can keep an eye on it. And I'll go check the other two sets there and see what we got and get back to you. Walking into the other set here. Put my gloves away. See it's a nice little pond. Just gonna ask to sit on top of the dam here. And on a crossover set. A nice big beaver there. And a nice neck catch. And I gotta cross this. I don't know if I'm gonna bring you with me. I'll set this up here and watch this so I don't wreck a camera if I fall in. Right, there's another big adult beaver here. <coughs> Did a little twist. I'll free it up and probably reset this one. It can stay. I didn't want the other ones in the water because they were rust a bit, but this one is a good spot and we'll clean them out. And like I said, I'll set up the camera here, if I can find some solid ground on the beaver dam. And I'll go head in there, and then if I fall in, at least it's on video for you.
Okay. So, that's uh, skunk there. And just kicked an opening in the dam there as it's walking, it's pretty squishy. They kicked a good channel, so it should drop it down six inches, eight inches. But we'll uh, pull these here, this one here, and I'll reset this one with the beaver. And then we'll, we'll pull the other ones and reset that and head home. See you in a minute. Like I said, five traps, three beavers. I'm gonna set two of the five back up just in case something comes in. I'm gonna go free that dam a little bit right now. Not a bad little haul. The oil company's gonna be happy and the forestry company will be happy, I'm sure. So we can start pulling some trees out if it ever quits raining. A little crazy with all the rain. I didn't even think I was going to get in here. A couple spots. It's worse than last time we were out. Pick up my setters and go do the, the remakes there. See you in a bit.
I can't find that culvert, it's too deep. I got into, well up to here, put that up there a bit, up to about there and thought I could feel the end of the culvert by checking the other side. The beavers got it pretty buried and I can't free it up so I'll have to get them to poke it from the other side of the big log. Then if the beavers come back, get them to give me a call. Uh, it left that one foothold there because it's nice and deep and I know it's deep even after they drain it there so we should be good uh, with the killing traps. If they drain the water level they'll be on top of the ground and anything could get in there and it's not uh, not very fair or humane. So at least with the foothold it's going to be submerged in water and it'll be good till next time I come back. Let's go uh, reset that other one and make our way home. This is the remake. Pretty much the same thing that I had last time. And this is the beaver that we had caught. I'll go put it up beside the other ones and compare them all. Then we'll head home. Alrighty, I got them all together here. So the one on the right is the one on that crossover that I just reset and then the one on the left is over by that foothold, it was uh, 330 that got it, uh, Belial on that one. And when I reset, or I didn't reset it, but when I took it apart, it looked like it had gone up on the bank and came down and was coming off the caster mound when it got caught and that's why I think I caught it a little a little bit far back. Uh, the big one here, it's turned sideways, but it's uh, quite a bit bigger than the other ones. It uh, caught it in a savage hole, right by the head. Same as the other one on the right, it was right by the head. So good catches all in all. Um, yeah, come back in a little bit and check the other sets and let the no company know they can open up the dam or the culvert. Moxie, get the beaver. Get the beaver. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get the beaver. Get Last night, just before dark there, I got in and there's two beavers swimming. Building this here, I cut it half broke. I should have uh, videoed it before, but it's getting dark. So it was dark. This morning when I started to break it, basically this was all the way across the road here. So I started grabbing it and throwing it off to the side over the bank here. Throw it over there. Just waiting it for it to brighten up a bit more. We'll go check the set. Uh, hit one of the beavers twice with the 17 HMR. One was kind of a body shot, the other one was in the head. Then it started to uh, flop a bit and then went under. And I thought this morning it'd be popped up here, but I don't see it anywhere yet. But I haven't gone through everything yet to see where exactly it was. It was over here in this corner. We got our drowning set over there. And we'll take a look at once I finish freeing this up here. We'll see you in a bit. Alright, a few minutes later. Got all that debris taken off. Just threw it off to the side there. It's amazing how a little bit of sticks and grass to hold back water. If you look at these trees here, I've already dropped the water level two to three inches. The beaver has been back a few times. Uh, right here is where 
caught the one beaver by the stump. We'll go in and take a look at that foothold, see if I have anything there. And I have the other crossover trap to check. But yeah, I thought, uh, thought I'd see that beaver that I shot floating here. It was kind of just laying here right in front of us where this grass was. And uh, yeah, hit it once, kind of stunned it, and then it started doing its flop again. So then I shot it again and it went limp. And then again, I was waiting for the other beaver to come by that I thought I seen swim by. And then it started making ripples again and went under water and don't know where it went after that. So I assume it's, it just drowned and sunk and then it should be coming up soon. Sometimes it takes a couple days for them to blow it up and come back up if they dive down and bite something. But I know it's dead. All right, let's go check some traps. So on this crossover, there's another nice beaver. Pull it out there and can take a look and I'll grab this trap and I'll put it over on the other side there where a bit more activity. Let's be slowed down a little bit here. I'll let some water out here. It's coming out pretty good. We're gonna dam it up if there's more here. And we'll carry on. Been waiting around a little bit here. We got caster mounds. This is where I caught the one before, and uh, they started coming up here, so I'll set here and leave that one open. They're not really that water there, it's just me going in and out, just checking things out. But they're a bit more active right here. Foothold. It's right there. Wasn't set off. I just went in there and kind of felt around a bit and see what I could see. But anyways, we'll make our sets again. Still no sign on this side of that beaver. Not sure where it went. Okay, so what we have here, decided to go with this spot uh, where I caught the beaver before and kind of block off and make, make it just dirty for them to go through here without overkill. And they do have a bit of a channel there. Right here is the stick with some lure. And got a nice little channel. Lightly blocked off this stuff here. Um, doesn't show that good from this angle. Traps anchored off to this tree a little bit deeper water. The uh, reason why I went here is so I had the anchor point plus a bit of a pinch point with that uh, beaver run started there. Here, the bottom wasn't the best to work with, so I kind of scrapped that. Either case, that lure there, we should have a beaver next time we come. And I'll freshen up that set over there with the foothold. Make sure it's bedded good still. And see what we get there. Alright, until next time, we'll see ya. Hey, we're just rolling up here checking out our beaver sets from before. So the long company came in. This boat where the water has been for a couple years. Like 
talked about. There not too long ago that uh, I used to keep them in check and kept this opened up. You can see over there that white bag. There was my beaver drowned. My set was up by that tree there so you can see there's a good four feet of water there. So here's the culvert. No wonder I couldn't uh, reach it. It's probably just, just on top of it but my foot couldn't go into it to free it up. So I can see my foothold. There it's not disturbed which is fine and I'm gonna go and check my one set over there and now that it's opened I don't think I'll might go put a set there in the channel just to just to help out but it doesn't look like the beavers have been through water's not flowing very much so the beavers probably won't try and dam this up Here's the log. This big guy fed through there. Just give me a sec, we'll go in and check her out. Okay, I made it over to my sets there. That's the last set I put out there. And here's the foothold. Sitting there, bedded, just waiting for whatever you get caught. So I'll pull it all up and I think we're good here. Might have had a bugger of a time to pull this here. With the beaver on it. Probably wouldn't have made it to the bag, but oh well. It would have still been submerged. And we'll keep an eye on this spot. Alright, we're wrapped up. See you later.